Alright, my name is Sasha Jordan Appler, and this is How to Get Your Start in Documentary Filmmaking. Thanks for joining me for part two, How to Meet and Work for a Documentary Filmmaker. Okay, so by this time you've been practicing and making small videos, possibly even making your own short documentaries, and now you feel you're at a point where you want to make a full feature documentary. But it's going to be a little hard because you've never done that before. But you're in luck because there's people that have made feature films before you. They're out there, believe it or not, they're working, they're making a living, they have families, they're just like you and me, it could be your next door neighbor. There are working filmmakers out there. Here's one of the ways you can go about meeting them. Again, in these videos, this is just my opinion, it doesn't mean this is the only way to go about getting into documentary film, this is just the way that I did it. So take it with a grain of salt. In part one, all of the advice I gave you about going out and practicing those were all things that I did myself. I went out, I practiced, I filmed, and I got comfortable with my own equipment, with filming, editing, sound, and lighting. At that time, I was still working, I still had a job. I was working at a pizza place as a pizza maker. I'd been doing that for a couple of years while I practiced making films. And I was at a point where I wanted to leave the pizza job and I wanted to do video work full time. I wanted to get into documentary, but I still didn't know how. So I thought, why don't I do local videos for local businesses first and we'll see where that goes. Before you can meet somebody who's in the industry, you need to know somebody who knows somebody in the industry. Or you run into somebody that knows somebody, or a friend knows somebody, or a family member knows somebody. What I would encourage you to do is go and make videos for local businesses. What you want to start doing is literally go out, knock on doors, ask for the owner, and say, I'd love to make a short website video for you. You may not get paid right away, but once you get a couple of these videos under your belt, then you can start using the videos you've done as leverage to get paid for your work. And that's what I did. I went around and knocked on doors, I cold called, and I asked people if I could do some video work for their business. When you're cold calling and you're knocking on doors, it is hard, okay? You're gonna get a lot of no's, and it's gonna be discouraging, but you can't give up, just keep trying, and somebody will eventually say yes, and then once your foot's in and you get a video under your belt, then you know how to do it. You're gonna learn how to approach people, you're gonna learn how to do business, you're gonna learn how to negotiate, you're gonna learn all of these things through trial and error, and it's gonna be great for you down the road. So don't give up, keep trying till somebody says yes. For me, that yes was a place called Workforce Windsor Essex, which I still do video work for today, They're one of my best clients. And another really important one was called Motor Burger. It was a restaurant downtown Windsor on Erie Street. And they were a really cool restaurant that made cool burgers and, and they make their own beer. The owners were really cool, Jay and Gino. And I started doing video work for them. After I had enough work, I was able to leave my pizza job and go full time. Granted, I wasn't making a lot more money than I was making at the pizza place, but I was all in. I was making videos all the time. This is all I was doing. And it was great. And what happened was, Jay and Gino at Motorburger knew I wanted to do documentary work. They knew a lot of people. They were connected. And they knew a filmmaker named Matt Gallagher. They introduced me to Matt and I reached out to Matt later and I sent him a short documentary I made and he liked it. We got together and I basically said, please, please let me work for you. I'll work for free. I'll do whatever you want. I'll haul your gear. I don't care. Just let me get on set with you so I can learn how to become a documentary filmmaker. He said yes, and he was really nice. He said, you don't have to work for free. I'll pay you $100 a day. I think it was something like that. It was great. I was now going to be working on an actual documentary for a real broadcaster. The film Matt was making was called How to Prepare for Prison, and it was a film about people preparing to go to prison. I was really fortunate to get to work with Matt Gallagher, who had like 20 years of experience in documentary filmmaking, and he really took me under his wing, and he taught me the ins and out of the documentary world. Camera equipment, lighting, interviews, B-roll, working with sound guys, working with subjects, working with producers. So I just watched and soaked up everything Matt had to offer me. I was able to get into the industry through the work I was doing in the community and the people I was doing work for liked my work and they thought it was good enough to introduce me to this documentary filmmaker. So that's one way to get into it. So that might not happen for you. So another way, in hindsight, I wish I would have been going to film festivals in bigger cities that are close by to me. For example, I'm in Windsor, I live next to Detroit, that's a big city. I could be going to film festivals there and introducing myself to filmmakers there, offering my services over there 
or I could have been going up to Toronto where there's TIFF, uh, Hot Docs, all these film festivals. I could have been going there and introducing myself to filmmakers and I probably would have been able to get my foot in a lot sooner if I had done that. That's maybe something that you should try doing. Go and introduce yourself to filmmakers but make sure you have what we talked about in step one. You want to have a reel, you want to have something to show these filmmakers that you're capable of working with them. Okay that concludes how to meet and work for a documentary filmmaker. Up next is part three where I'm going to talk about becoming a great assistant. If you've liked this video please hit subscribe, leave any comments below if I've missed anything or if you guys have anything to add or if you have any questions I'm happy to answer it. Alright thanks. Hey.